All right, good morning. It's uh, Memorial Day, 2009, and yesterday uh, we had an event on uh, uh, up here in Colorado, the Realities for Children's Motorcycle Ride, and we were running APRS, and one of the interesting things that came up as a topic of discussion during our uh, four hours in the truck was APRS Digipeters. So I've been going through the book this morning, and I've been digging around on the internet, and I found absolutely nothing on how to properly configure this D710 uh, for digipeating. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I've been reading through the book, and I've been reading through things on the internet. Um, so hopefully, by the time this is done, you'll know how to configure this uh, D710A for a digipeter. So as you can see, I've already got APRS up and running. Um, I've locked out the ability for this to beacon this morning because I didn't want to be beaconing. Um, this video is going to assume that you already have your radio set up, um, but we will walk through part of that. So, hit the function key and then the big button on the left there and you'll go into the menu. And we see APRS right here. So basic settings, my call sign, N0AOL, beacon type is APRS. I did set that up when I initially bought the radio. I have it set to the A band, 1200 baud. I'm not sure what the other stuff means. I didn't change it. GPS is currently disabled um, because I'm at a fixed location, so I don't need to run a GPS. If you need to enable it, you just come down to input and turn it on. And it'll say GPS there, it's flashing GPS but we're going to leave it off. So the waypoint, basically this is the output string from the uh, GPS, I believe, format NMEA that is required. That's uh, output from the Kenwood back to something. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, COM port mode is for, so I've got that disabled. There's my fixed position, so that way I don't have to use the GPS. If you enable the GPS mode, this will automatically uh, disable itself. When I'm at my house, I have it beacon every 30 minutes. There's no need to beacon any more than that. Okay, packet path. This is important. So, um, from what I've been reading, pretty much everybody's packet path. The type should be the new dash N. That's used a lot in North America, and it's picking up a little bit overseas. Wide 1-1 one, one is enabled here, because if uh, I'm not heard by a digi on the hill, we have lots and lots of mountains here with digipeters on them. I want to be able to be picked up by someone else that could send me up to the mountain to the big digipeter. My total hops is restricted to two and my path on the bottom here, oops, there we go, wide one one then wide two one. The network is APRS by default. You don't need to use the other one and uh, not really sure what it would be for. I think it's old old method of this uh, style of stuff. Voice alert, I don't have a voice board in here so it's disabled. My weather station's not hooked up to this radio. So here we go, DigiPeat. Um, if you turn this on, DigiPeat, my call, what it'll do is if it picks up a, if your radio hears a station that no one else has heard yet, and this is enabled, this will add your call sign to the uh, DigiPeat path, and that way people will know who DigiPeated it. So I'm going to enable that. The UI check, um, it's got something to do with, uh, well, here's what the book says it will not relay a one time received UI frame within the set UI check time. It's if it's this is effective for each UI digi, UI flood, and UI trace. It's unnumbered information frame. 
I'm just going to leave that set. It was already at 28 seconds. So UI Digi, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And then the alias, actually I have in here wrong, um, which is why we're doing this video, because I could never get this to work. So this is where you would want to put in wide 1-1. So that's what we're going to do. Um, here's what the book says. Um, when using the TMD710 as a digipeter, set whether or not UI digipeat is run. When receiving a UI frame that matches your entered character string, example wide 1-1, uh, of the beginning part of the packet path that has not yet been repeated, the digipeat completion flag, which is an asterisk, is added to your call sign. And then your call sign basically is put into that string. So we're going to turn that on. And then I'm going to type in there, hopefully, with the keypad of the microphone, wide 1-1. I'm not sure how to get special characters in there, so we'll use the uh, rotating. Here it is. Wide 1 dash. Oops. Wide 1 dash 1. There we go. Now we'll go back to the next screen UI flood. I have mine set to not go outside of the state of Colorado. So that way I'm not bombarding the network. That should be pretty much it. Um, UI trace I don't use. Um, that's more for messaging uh, to see where a message came from. And I had some stuff typed in there. As you can see, I had alias temp in there. Um, I don't really believe that's needed to be an effective digipeter. So I think we're going to just leave that off. I don't see why we need to turn that on in this. And that should be it. All the rest of this is all optional stuff. I have auto message reply that was turned off. Um, I have my transmit beep turned on for now and my receive beep is on message only. It gets very annoying when you receive a bunch of uh, APRS signals all at once, the thing starts beeping like crazy. And the beep volume is controlled by programming inside the Kenwood, so you can't just turn down the volume and expect it to go away. So anyway, that's pretty much it. So we should have a uh, APRS digipeter set up and functioning right now. So, I'm going to enable the ability to beacon. Oh look, my weather station beaconed. Gonna reset. There we go. And that's it. I think we have a Digipeter set up. I'm gonna keep an eye on this and see if it actually works. And if it does, we'll uh, we'll get the camera back out here and record it actually doing some uh, repeating. And then I'll show you on the internet uh, the, uh, the string of text that actually uh, shows that it digipeated through me. So thanks for watching.